Well, hello loves. Happy Sunday to you. I'm just getting my apron on and um, I just turn on the camera because I am going to create Sunday inspiration and I have ideas, but I don't really quite know yet what I am going to create. And um, I have lots of things that I'm processing right now and decisions I need to make. And like I've shared many, many times, the best place for me to do that is in my journal. So I'm going to be just kind of going with the flow. Um, as of right now, I don't know what I'm going to create. I pulled some things from some magazine that was really interesting and I liked the color. And so I just wanted to go with it and see where it led me and just kind of be quiet and in the moment and think through all of the things that I have to work on. But um, I wanted to show you something really quick before I started that one of the reasons why I love um, printing on tissue paper, stenciling on tissue paper, um, all that kind of stuff on tissue paper because um, I'm in this process of trying to figure out where I'm going to take my journal page and I don't really know. And, Tissue paper gives me the option to figure that out. And I think oftentimes as we approach our creativity, whether it's our journal page or it's an actual piece, sometimes the decision making is what's fearful because what if I make the wrong decision when I'm creating? And um, I try as much as possible to kind of eliminate some of those choices um, especially when I don't know where I'm going or I'm trying something new. So um, I want to share that with you today too. Before I dive into that, I do want to tell you that um, my newest workshop is out by the time you see this. It's called Rustic Road and it is uh, absolutely delightful. Look at, look at that. Ah, love it. So many yummy yummy techniques, grungy palette knife work, dry brushing, all that kind of stuff. So fun, easy ones like this. I'll just show you, I'll just show you all of them because they're so good. And lots and lots of grungy layers and palette knife work and all that. So it's called Rustic Road. So I thought I'd share that with you real quick um, before I dive into this. So let's take a look down here. So I have all of my, I have my, let me set this over here. So I have my journal out here with my ideas. These are, this is like where I start. And um, I don't really know exactly where I'm going, but I really, really liked, this was a magazine page and it's really interesting in the colors. And I thought this was kind of cool. It was like the, the, um, like where the chapters are of a book. And this is like soft folds of a flower, but all the colors are kind of the same. And then this quote, I was like, I was, as I was, you know, leafing through the magazine, I have some decisions to make. And I was like, okay, all right, fine. And then this, of course, numbers. So I pulled those out. They were all kind of right there. And I'm like, I'm just going to go with it kind of my grungy colors and that kind of thing. But before I get there, I thought as I was thinking my way through, I thought, well, you know what? I think I would like to use, maybe I can do it kind of neutral and I can do some, some flowers or something. So I started pulling out stencils and I'm like, well, what about this one? What about this one? It's all, every single step we take is always decision making, right? Um, so one of the reasons why I love to use stencils is because I can do this and make a decision. I can stencil, like I just did the whole thing on here um, because maybe I want a side view and I can extend the, I can extend the um, stem, I can add the leaves if I want, it's tissue paper and I can arrange it just the way that I want it but I can cut it out and kind of place it on my piece as I'm working and say no that doesn't work or maybe I can you know I can cut this one out and I can um, say, no, that one's too big, but I did a smaller one. Or maybe, you know, I just need part of it, um, which I do often, or like just a simple one. And um, so I can cut these out and you're going to see me do that because I'm going to audition them as I do them. And same with even just mark making. 
So let me get a darker. So, um, I, you know, I mean, I know you've seen me do tons of tissue paper um, um, stenciling. And you could, you don't even have to use a stencil. Of course I do because, you know, I ha have a ton of them. But you could just even make marks. And this way, you know, you've got... Like, so I've got, you know, all my letters, all my numbers, all that kind of stuff on my tissue paper. And as I'm creating, I can then just take, maybe I just want to add a little bit. And I can place this down on my piece and go, yeah, yeah, that would look good. It gives me the option to release the, the fear of making a decision of what goes where, right? So that's why I love using tissue paper like this because, and if I end up putting it down in a spot and I don't like it, I don't have to wipe up paint. I just pick up the tissue paper and nothing has been harmed. So, um, I, and, and one of the other things too that I like, and I'm just going to do this one real quick because I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen me do this a thousand times, but I'm just going to make sure. Um, so I've got my tissue paper out here and I just buy the regular tissue paper that you get for gift wrapping in the big sheets folded and I cut them down into sizes like this. I can print on them like this and then I can um, stencil on them. And um, so I usually when I'm going to do an image I usually will have two pieces of tissue paper for one stencil. I have some parchment paper down here so that I can kind of just lift this up and move it if I need to because um, the, the um, tissue paper can get kind of fragile. And then I use rollers when I'm doing this partly because um, I can just go to town and make a whole bunch if I want. And this kind of gets addicting, so you end up with lots of collage paper. And then, yes, also in the process, ideas happen. So, like you saw me do, or you saw, let's see, I think it was this one. This is this one, and this one right here. So, I'm just going to show you. I did that one in white, I'm going to do this one in black. And I have, I have my little roller containers full of black and white um, gesso um, and I like the gesso because it's kind of thick and it's matte so I will <clears throat> just put my stencil out here and it doesn't have to be perfect because you know if it doesn't work it doesn't if it doesn't look good it doesn't look good that's fine um, I'm not hurting anything um, and in the process I'm getting ideas I'm playing I'm starting the creative process Okay, so I will do that. Then, like I said, I have two pieces of tissue paper for each stencil. I'm going to turn this over and then I'm going to put this piece down and I'm going to stamp with this one. And I always have, sometimes, what did I do with that extra piece of tissue paper? I will have an extra piece of tissue paper or cleanup paper or something to go over it because you never know what you're gonna get. Nothing goes to waste here. So then I will, I mean, come on now, isn't that great? That's a great piece of collage material to go in some project somewhere. Don't leave your stencil on there too long because it'll get stuck. And now I've got the outline of that. Look how great that is. And that's just from one stencil. And then, you know, I can do a couple of those. So I did that with the stencils that I'm tr trying to decide if I want or not for this project. It's super fast and super easy this way. And then you've got, I got three pieces of tissue paper from that one little roll. Um, and each one is, is like its own magic. <laughs> um, and then I will just put these on the floor and let them dry. And I'm just going to stick them down there. And you'll want to make sure that you lift them off your parchment paper because they could get st stuck. Um, but then I just let them dry. And now I've got all these options for creating 
Um, let me put this aside in my journals or in whatever project I choose. Um, so I'm just moving all my stuff around. So I have, unfortunately, I have not unfortunately, because I love it. I have copious amounts of tissue paper where I've done this because I couldn't decide what I wanted. But then I always have these bits that I can use in my projects for, you know, whatever. And for today, I wanted to try out these three flowers and I just wasn't sure if these would work or not for this page. And so I'm going to try it out. If I don't like them, then I will do another one and see what I like. And then I also, you know, did some mark making um, just for this project because I know it's going to be somewhat neutral, at least that's my idea anyway. And then, you know, I've got, I've got the both sides of the stencil, the stamp side and then the actual rolled out side. And I did that with all of them. So you can see here, there's my three flowers with the reverse. And these alone, I'm like, oh man, I could totally see this in a project, just like this with some really colorful background. Because the nice thing is the tissue paper goes transparent. As long as you use fluid matte medium, you got a lot on there and you put your, your tissue paper down, it goes transparent. And um, it's just so much fun to use. So. I have out here what I plan on using. I have Mars Violet and Payne's Gray in my Nova color. Um, because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, I want to stick to my idea and I want to kind of stay somewhat neutral. Now, who knows? As I'm going along, this might actually turn into something else. <laughs> um, you just never know. And. Um, I've got my gouache out here that I have been playing with, so I'm, I'm coming back to the things that I've been working with and playing with that I have ideas that I want to try and we'll see where it goes. But most likely it's going to be neutral because the colors are neutral and kind of lends itself to some grungy ness. So um, those are my ideas and my plan and um, We'll see where it goes, and um, I hope you enjoy the video, and um, we'll talk it through at the end, and I'll talk about what I discovered and what happened in the process, and um, and we'll see we'll see what happens. All right, let's get creating.
That was a journey and I loved it. It was the headspace and the time and the quiet that I needed to kind of work through all things. Um, I swear life's problems can be solved in these journal pages. Um, so let's take a look at the project. So <clears throat> here we are and you saw me audition my parts. Um, and I love the layers on this. I positively love it. I love that all the different elements are showing up in one way or another. I love that dark underneath. Um, and we have to have that dark to show off the light. <clears throat> and, and, and that light is there to kind of simplify. And man, is that a metaphor for life, I tell you. But um, I love all the parts. Love it. Um, super happy with how this turned out. Love the grungy color. And it was very, I mean, my supplies were hardly anything. So I used my Mars Violet and my Payne's Gray for those initial colors in the background, along with all the papers. I did use my um, Burnt Sienna. That was my first color. And that was a great base because it matched what was going on within the papers. Um, and then Mars Violet Payne's Gray. So on my palette, that's, I mean, this is it. Gesso for my white. I did use some um, Dale & Rowney for my, um, kind of my grunginess, grungy bits. I used my matte gel to put my papers down with. I used my fluid matte medium to put my tissue paper. And I was surprised that I went with this one because I didn't think I was going to. I really honestly thought that I was going to go with, with one like this. But I'm so glad that I did because I liked that I could make it a curve. And then I and I had happened to just set the one that I was kind of trying out over here. And when I did that, I was like, oh, I like that. So that's part of the reason why I love using the tissue paper. And then my, my circles over here with my tissue paper, just the right amount of of goodness in my areas here. That's what I love. That's what I, that's why. I, and you know, I can just kind of like try, and I actually tore out a piece and was gonna put it down here, like one of these. And I was like, nope, I don't, I think, I like the grungy feel of this. And so I just, it's perfect. It takes away the fear of that decision making. And, um, all my numbers over here, my envelope, so I added a couple other little bits 
to kind of bring it together and um, my quote that um, works that totally works for this page and for me so yeah we talked about the tissue paper you know using it because it takes the fear out of making a decision everything you want is on the other side of fear and if we can eliminate some things then we can make some decisions so that is my journal page Sim super simple I was actually uh, going to um, write out a few things on here with my fine liner um, and I still might after the fact but I really like it the way that it is um, I was gonna do my charcoal pencil I kinda went back and forth so I'm just gonna leave it for the way that it is right now because I love it <clears throat> okay so um, I used the stencils that I used the flower stencils um, let's see by the time you see this yeah um, the different flower stencils and the couple of the other stencils this the circle one um, I'll make those on sale for this week. Um, and then I think that is it. So those will be on sale. And then the new workshop is out and it is um, on early bird pricing right now. Um, it's called the Rustic Road. I'll have a link for that for you I'll, as well as all the supplies. Even those the supplies were simple, super, super simple. Um, and then I just want to really quickly talk about fear. Um, and it's interesting because I'm dealing with making decisions. And as I was trying to put this page together, I was thinking about the decisions that I just had to make for the page. And sometimes we can talk ourselves out of doing anything or making any decisions because of the fear. And like I did with this page, um, I gave myself some options. I made some choices that helped me make my decisions easier. And whenever I can do that in my page, it goes, you know, I'm, I'm willing to, to make a choice, to make a decision. Um, and it lessens the fear of that. And I have found that to be true in my own life, that if I can give myself some options where it doesn't feel like if I make a decision, it's final, it's forever. Um, and that if I do make a decision and I don't like it, I can just make another decision. And um, that is always how I've been able to approach the things that I need to do. You know, it takes some time. You gotta kind of mull it around. You gotta write it out. You gotta journal it out. You gotta do all of those things. Um, and yet, giving ourselves some options, like, okay, so let's see, let's take these three things. Let's take these three flowers for on collage paper. Let's do these things. Give yourself some options to make decisions and try to take the fear, because the fear is what stops us, because we think that what we do is final, and it's not. We can just choose to make another decision. Now, of course, we have to deal with the consequences of our decisions, but, but most of the time, those are the times when I learn the most. And even if I liken it to our journal page, um, if I, even if I hadn't used collage paper and I had stenciled on a flower <clears throat> and I just positively hated it, what is the worst thing that can happen? And I know we're talking about a journal page, not life, but it's very much the same. At least that's what I've found in my own life, um, is that, well, in my journal page, I can choose to walk away from it. I can choose to paint over it. I can choose to put some paper over it. I can choose to just so completely over it and start over. Those are my options. So if I look at the options, well, those options aren't terribly scary. I can paint over it. I can start over. And so when we can give ourselves options, um, it'll lessen the fear and all the things that we need to do are on the other side of fear. I can't believe how this page came together. I was rustling this week. I opened a magazine. I started pulling out things that I thought were interesting that would make cool collage material. And I thought maybe I'll use that for Sunday. And then the very next page was this quote. And I was like, 
all right and it just all fell into place so give yourselves options um, give yourself collage paper options always and um, realize that choices that we make can we can choose again and that fear is what holds us back from moving forward or making decisions or doing the things that we know that we need to do fear um, and we can just make a new choice if we need to that that is my lesson this week that is what I was wrestling with and what I am working through all of those things and that's always my process I make a list of my options when I'm trying to make decisions so I can move past the fear all right my loves I hope you enjoyed today's project I hope you collage your your things and it gives you all kinds of options and and it takes the fear away all right um, have fun with the project if you are going to create it and then um, check out the new workshop all right my loves have a wonderful Sunday and always always know that you are loved mm -hmm.